Hello, amazing people of the world. So, I am back with another video, and this one is, um, on favelas. And I did a video with the same spots before, but these spots you can do as an attacker, so they can actually benefit you. And, yeah, I find them pretty useful, but I'm actually kind of impressed with how many views I got on my last video. I didn't expect it to get that much, but, yeah, so this is going to be the first one. So you want to go onto this pink table here, run onto this, and then vault on this. This one's hard to do though, so you want to run and time the vault at just at the right time. And when you do that, you're basically up here. I've showed this one a long time ago. And uh, yeah, you can go over the thingamabob right behind me, but first I will show you the coolio angles that you have. They're actually pretty cool from up here. So you can see into packaging quite nicely. Quite nicely. But, um, I've actually seen that people do the vault easier that way than what I've found. But once you come over here, as I have done before, you can not really see too much into there. But, I mean, that that's not the point of going down here. Like, the point of going down here is having the better angles. So then if you blew something up right there, you have, like, a rotational, like, you'll just stop one of their rotation areas. You have located a bomb. So one, you have direct look into the bomb site, and if you're playing secure, yeah, secure, but you could also drop down a level, you know, if you're into that type of stuff, you know, drop down, and I actually got a better view down here than before. But you can continue moving around, which is pretty nice, which is why I might see myself actually doing this in, doing this in ranked in the future if I, like, master it, as I would say. But sadly, I don't have any more ash charges, so I just gotta try to shoot this out. But, uh, yeah, you get, like, a pretty nice view into all of these rooms. But, uh, let's get on to the next one. So the next one is going to require another person if you want to use it to attack packaging room. So you want them to go prone on the ping, and once you go have them prone, you can get up there, and then you want to crouch and look for the vault on that. And once you vault up, you just... It's pretty self-explanatory. You just vault yourself up. But if you can't find it that way, then you want them to go prone on the ping, and then you want to run over them, and then you want to follow my pings, and then you want to just look for any vault you could find. But... Since I am doing this without another person, and I have done it with another person in the past, but uh, I'm doing it this way. This way, I'm fairly sure that this person named Ascend found, I don't have his link in the description, but once you come up here, you want to just wiggle your way up onto this, and once you do that, you can just hit the vault perfectly. So you got a pretty nice look into packaging room. And I'm just gonna rotate here just uh, just a tad. Mm, again, you have more room you could see. And I'm running low on ammo. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much all I thought I found. But as you'll see from this extra recording piece, that is not all I found. Oh, I just shook my finger, okay. But what you can do is look for a vault sign on this. Once you find any vault sign, you can vault up. But uh, I feel like you can get up there if you have another person below you to stand on. But if you go prone, you can work your way over here. And you get an even better view into packaging room on this side of the uh, area. You also get a view into lab room below it. But, um, you can just run your way back. I don't think you can get all the way up where I like to stay, like, up in front of where I'm looking. I don't think you can get over there anyway, but still, it's pretty cool, for this part at least. So let's get on to the next one. Boom, it's nighttime. Okay, this one is useful for bomb and secure, so you want to vault onto this, just like so, and then you want to run and time the vault. And then you want to vault on top of this antenna, and just make your free one, 
free run across the ways. And you just want to shimmy shimmy your way up here. And then you want to vault over this if you don't want to walk over. But I decided to walk over because I'm a thuggasus. So. You do have a very tight peek into that corner down there. You probably know which corner I'm talking about. But you can get an even better peek if you go directly below me. But you, you can still do it from up here. It's just not as good. But you can see into packaging room just a tad. Not the greatest angle, but it's still an angle that you can have literally anywhere else, but this one, I like. Because you don't have to be repelling on the building to do it. So if you blow up these two things as so, you can see, you can actually see into a biker's apartment. All the way down below. You can't see much, but you can still get a kill or two. Not, probably not two, but you could probably get a kill after a while. But, you can see into the objective room for bomb, and if you shoot that out, then you can see a bit into secure room. So it can be slightly useful if you plant the bomb, and you have to watch it, because they obviously won't be looking all the way up there. The you can, of course, shoot out whatever you want, but... In front of where I'm looking, you can actually get on that. You don't need the antenna, but you need a, another person to go prone on the ping. And you need to run directly over them. And eventually, once you've tried that enough and you've done it enough, you'll slide over them and you'll know how to slide over them each time. You have to kind of land on the edge of the person. That's that's all I know for sliding. I, don't, I get it once every while, or once in every while, um, but... Uh, this next one right here is pretty cool, you just have to get on here like so, you don't have to drop, but I just did that, so then you want to vault on this, run onto this antenna here, and then you want to run onto this one, and you can see into hostage room, in aunt's bedroom, <laughs> it's pretty nice, I mean, you can have this peak right here in another area, but I'll show that in a few seconds here, but... You can blow open that, of course, you know, for Genji, Ooh. But you don't really get the best angle from up here, so what I'm gonna do is drop down. You can get down there even easier if you vault over the thing that you just saw me do. But uh, you get some pretty cool Leo angles, but I'm gonna add this one in because I don't see much people ever using this right here. It's pretty easy to do and it gets kills, like, a lot. Like, I mean a lot when I'm playing favelas. So, if you have thermite, you can get them to reach that, but, yeah, so. That's pretty much everything I'm gonna put in this video, but thanks for watching, show some support, and I'll make another video.